Okay, he's Mick here. I'm starting a little uh, vlog. It's not really a how-to. It's kind of, I guess it's a how-to vlog. Um, so basically what I'm going to do um, today is I'm, uh, I'm adding a new controller and throttle grip to, uh, to, the, um, to my Razer E200 scooter here. Uh, so, so yeah, uh, if, if you guys don't know, the Razer E200 has like a, a horrible twist throttle. So it's it's a half throttle setup. It's a, um, yeah, it's like, so half of it is a twist throttle and the other half is a grip. In it. Um, the way it works is it's basically an on off switch. So once you twist this, it, uh, it turns the motor on and it goes and that's it. There's no like, you know, half throttle, quarter throttle, 10% full throttle. There's no, there's none of that. You just twist it and it's 100% right on. It's, it's zero and 100%. So um, what I'm gonna be doing today is adding this guy. So this is actually from my uh, electric bicycle kit. Um, and it's a, uh, it's a Yiyun Tech LB27, if you guys are wondering what the, the model number part is, if you wanna try to get one of these guys. Uh, and I'm pretty sure that they had set this up for a scooter very similar to the uh, E200. Um, and, uh, I had this on my, uh, I had this on my, my electric bicycle before, and I thought the controller was bad, so I went and bought a, a 350-watt controller. Um, so this one is 250 watts. Uh, supposedly, supposedly the motor in this is like, I think it's like 200 watts or something, but I think, I think it's rated, actually rated for 250 watts. But the, I guess the current controller on the Razer is rated at like 200. So you'll you'll get the max power from that motor. Um, I think it it'll be fine. It's it's pretty much rated for 250 watts. So this will be like an E250 scooter after. <laughs> um, so so yeah. So the advantages of this is that I can use a newer a new twist throttle that has a, that has it's a variable throttle. Um, not the zero 100. Like I said, I have this one already. I think this probably doesn't cost less than 20 bucks. They sell similar. They sell actual kits um, to upgrade your scooter on on eBay. I saw so, so or scooter stores. Um, but this is the one that I heard from my electric bicycle, and I noticed a lot of the connections are the same, and they're labeled too already. So um, I kind of know how it works. Alrighty. So uh, here I have the twist throttle. This is a. Um, I think it's a Curry. Curry Tech or something, Curry, like C U. I'll put a subtitle below how it's spelled. But uh, basically, it's a half throttle and it has a little indicator light to tell you how high your battery is. Um, I like that. Um, the, the this this model of E two hundred. I think this is a model thirty six or something. Is from what I remember. Um, does not have any kind of battery indicator on it, so you don't know if you're low. The only way you'll know you're low is if uh, if it gets slower. <laughs> so so yeah. And a little bit more info on this scooter. Uh, I had bought this scooter uh, for maybe like four months ago. About four or five months ago, I bought this scooter. And I think the batteries were like old in it or something. Because it was kind of slow. I tried to uh, I tried to recondition it with a, with a battery charger. I took the batteries out and charged it. And then and then uh, one day I, I plugged it in to charge it. And then um, and I came back like the next day and, and the batteries like... Pretty much like melted, like they exploded. Um, they 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 overcharged themselves. So I think one of the batteries went bad. Um, and we'll take a look at uh, you know how all the batteries are all. Uh, I'm not gonna do anything with the batteries. I I actually upgraded the batteries on this scooter to a nine amp hour from a seven amp from the stock seven amp hour. So it, it has some pretty good runtime. I've been riding it. I don't really know the range on it, but it it runs. I can go like at least like 10 miles or something with it so that's pretty good um, but it is a pain in the ass to ride because it has this on off throttle I, I really don't like it so um, I thought I had this lying around so why not go ahead and install it so before this video I had soldered the uh, the connector for the uh, the battery connector this is the one that goes to the battery. I think, uh, yeah, I I, cha I changed the connector because it um, the one that's on the lipo battery pack I was using was different. So, 
So this is basically going to plug into the harness that plugs into your batteries right here. And I soldered that back on. Um, the, other, the other thing that's modified is this wire here. I, do, I don't remember what it was called, um, but I cut it. Um, basically, this is an on-off switch. Um, or it's a kill switch is what it is. Uh, so if you have like a lock or something, um, I did buy another throttle. I bought a, I bought another throttle just in case. Um, so this one is a half throttle and it has a key here. So you can, so you can turn it on and off with the key or, you know, it's a kill switch basically, um, but you have to use the key to lock and unlock it. It's pretty nice. I'm not going to use this because the, the connectors are different for some reason. Uh, this are the proper connectors that go to my thing. So if I wanted to, I could probably move these connectors over to here and use them. But I decided, let's just use this one. This one looks like it's better quality one anyways. But this one does have a lock on it. So um, basically you can wire the lock to this wire here. And then when you when you, um, when you you take the key out, it, um, it, it breaks this connection. And then it, it turns, and it basically turns the controller off or something. It, get, it gives no power. So I found that out the hard way. When I hooked everything up, I was like, hey, why isn't it working? Oh, I have to, I have to connect these two wires together then. So this is a switch, basically, is what it is. But uh, what I've done is I've, uh, I've just taken two wires, and I've twisted it. To, I've taken the two wires, and I twisted them together. So it's like on all the time. But basically, the on-off on switch on this is what turns it on and off um, so that's fine basically it, it just breaks the connection from the battery the controller that's how it works so it has a mechanical switch already on it um, and if you guys don't know where that is that's right here okay. so yeah so there it is that is the introduction so this is a um, so this controller is I forgot I didn't mention it but this is a 250 watt uh, 24 volt controller so you need to have a 24 volts um, this e200 scooter runs on 24 volts it's two 12 volt packs in series this gives you 24 volts so so uh, um, if so this will this will work this will work with the battery setup on this if you have like a 30 if you get a 36 volt one then you're gonna have to change the battery pack you know so I I figured like hey it's already 24 volts might as well go for it, right? <laughs> um, all right, so so that's a little background. Uh, we will be using this twist throttle, so we will have to replace the throttle and the controller, and that's pretty much it, I think. Um, and we'll just install the Union Tech LB27 uh, uh, Dealy, and I, I'm pretty sure this works. Um, I thought this was bad, but it, it actually wasn't. Um, it was, it's actually the motor I fried, so. Um, not the controller, because I replaced the controller and it did the same thing, so. So now I have a 350 watt controller on my bicycle, and, uh, and I had this one lying around, so. Uh, alright, so let's, uh, let's tear into this guy. Okay, so first thing I gotta do is take the deck off the scooter. It's not too hard, um, I'll just speed this up in the video, but, um, basically there's, uh, Phillips head screws here, here. And then there's a screw and nut right here, and then there's a four millimeter Allen head bolts right here. And off they go. Um, the the nut is an eight millimeter, by the way. Our one. Okay, I got all the fasteners off. Uh, for some reason, this Allen head bolt has like a little rock in it. I gotta get that out of there somehow. I gotta get a pick and dig it out. Um, I don't. Yeah, it's like a rock. I don't know. Um, I, fortunately, it wasn't super tight, so I was able to get it out. I'm probably gonna put some uh, Loctite on some of these screws, but they don't look like they're too hard to lose. Okay, so the deck comes off just like that. Uh, and then you gotta take this little bar dealy here that holds the batteries in basically. So go ahead and take that out. There's two 
those head screws. Just come off. Okay. Out of the way. And then the screws there. All right. So now we got the guts of the scooter exposed. Okay. So there it is. There's the guts exposed. Um, so what I'm going to want to do next is make sure all this stuff works. So I'm going to unplug everything and then plug in the new stuff and see if it actually works. So all right, I'm just going to start unplugging stuff here. So this is the battery right here. Plug that. And unplug this, whatever this is. Anyway, I've uh, disconnected pretty much everything. I disconnected the negative battery terminal right here. Um, this is the for the motor. Let's get that out of the way first. Okay, so I've separated the connectors from the controller. We can't really take the controller out until we take these two uh, red wires out. So. Okay, so I went and disconnected everything. Um, all the connectors are different, so there's, you know, there's not much risk in like connecting stuff wrong. I, I, if you were to put it back to stock, um, so the last thing that needs to be pulled is um, is this guy right here. Um, this is a, a power. So the power thing is different here. The power going to the controller is different than these go to the switch. So these are your switches right here. This one goes to the switch. So I'm not really sure what power gives what, but uh, we'll have to figure it out. It's a little bit different than the one I have. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to go ahead and disconnect these. You just kind of just pull them out. If I can. Damn, I really did. Man. I did you not want to come out? Okay, so I wound up getting the wire out. Um, these two wires, I had to use a pliers to get them out. Um, I had to get the top. I, I managed to get them all out for the switch. So I remember this black one goes on the top. So, all right. So we're gonna go take the old controller out. Basically, it's uh, the old controller has this guy here. Um, these two Phillips head screw screws here. Okay. Pretty much, it's not hot anymore. All the power has been disconnected. Sort of, kind of. Okay. That should free your controller. There it is. As you can see it's a much, uh, much larger than the other one. But this is electrical bicycle controller. It's much bigger than the other one. Right here. So it's good we. Little weight savings there. There's a big heat sink on top. This is electrical bicycle controller on top. So the specs are 24 volts. Its maximum current is 30 amps, just like this. Um, and then it says under under voltage is 20.5. So under if the voltage dips before 20.5, it 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 just kills it. And then this is the model number right here. And batch number May date. May date. I wonder where it's built. That's a good question. China. Chinese. Okay. Just like this. I think this one's Taiwanese. The is China. No, it's Chinese. It's a CCN. Okay. Okay. So it's not too hard to figure out what goes where on this scooter. Um, there's uh, certain wires that go certain places. So the easiest one is the motor. Um, the motor is right here and this wire runs all the way back to the motor. So this is the one for the motor. This is the battery right here. Um, and then this is the this is the battery. This is the negative battery. The negative battery goes to uh, right here. The uh, breaker connects to the breaker. So we can put that back in but 
just leave it disconnected for now um, to get it out of the way. Um, what else do we got? Uh, so I think your twist throttle. Wait, which one is the twist throttle? I think it's this. This is this is probably the twist throttle right here, maybe. Yeah, this is your twist throttle, I think. And then there's another one. So there should be two. There should be two wires coming going forward here. Okay, yeah. So there's one right here. There's three wires going forward. Hmm. What's the three wires for? That's a good question. Okay, so there's a twist throttle. There is a twist throttle here. That's one of the wires. And then there's a brake. That's the other wire. I don't know why there's three wires. Okay, so I trace this one back. This kind of flat three, three pin, but there's only two in there with the black and red wire is, uh, is the brake. This is the brake. I should probably label them. All right. And then uh, I'll go trace. Okay, ha ha ha. So, joke's on you, Hades Mega. <laughs> so, so yeah, there's three, I was trying to figure out what's the three cables. I was like, oh, the third cable is the brake, the brake line. I was wondering why it goes back here. I was like, oh, that's the, that's the wire for the brake cable. So, <laughs> so yeah. So this is your, uh, this is your twist throttle right here. This one with the four pins in it. That's a twist throttle, and, um, and like I mentioned, this one was the brake. Um, I labeled it with the with the electrical tape. It kind of says brake on it. So. Um, then this is your charge port right here. Yeah, this is your charge port because it's going to the charge port right here. And then your charge port goes to the uh, switch right here. Um, so right now, I think I'm just going to connect it directly to the battery, and then. Uh, and then I will bypass the switch for now. Okay, so I got everything hooked up. Um, well, not everything, but I just kind of got it hooked up so I can test it. So I got this one hooked up to the battery here, and then I plugged in the uh, the negative into the breaker, and then and that com that kind of completes the circuit circuit right there. And then I have the the motor connected here to the blue. Hmm. The wires are backwards. I wonder if it's the right direction. Well, so hopefully it spins in the right direction. That's not a big deal if it's backwards, but uh, but yeah, obviously your scooter will ride backwards if you connect it backwards. Um, and then I have the twist throttle hooked up here. We still got to install on the on the thingy, and uh, that's it. I just connected three things right now: just the the battery, the motor, and the twist throttle, and it works. Yeah, it's it's oh, this is backwards. Yeah, gum it. <laughs> okay, so crap. For whatever reason, it is backwards. <laughs> so I was looking at the wires and I was like, mm, it might just turn backwards, and it is. So, as you can see, the the wheel is turning that way. Um, we gotta we gotta switch those cables around. So you can see here that, uh, see I, I'm giving it partial throttle, see and it's going really slow, and it's going faster, 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 faster. So it works, it works pretty good. Um, uh, it works, you know, it's a variable throttle now. So now the problem is, uh, well, the problem is we have the, the battery wired backwards, so we're going to have to fix that. And then, uh, so, and then we got to install this, and then we got to hook up the charge port. Um, I'm not 100% if that charge port is connected, so I have to go make sure all these wires are right. 
and uh, I still have this there's still the indicator switch that we can probably plug in right now. Let's try it out. Let's plug it in. I think it's the one that says indicator. There we go. So I plug the indicator light in to the um, to the twist throttle here. Let's see, it's it's all green. And then maybe if I give it all throttle, it might disappear. I'd imagine it's. The scooter is fully charged right now. I don't think those lights will go off. So I got an indicator light now too, so that's good. I'm super happy now. And then the next thing we have to hook up is the brake. Um, the brake switch, I believe, is this one here. Let me just find the brake. I think it's different. Hmm. Yeah, it is they're opposites. <laughs> so I, I guess we're not going to use the brake. I don't think we really need it, you know. Because does it still spin? I don't know if we really need that brake. I'm just not going to hook it up. Um, but you, I suppose you could. Um, and there's one more here to charge port, but I'm not 100% sure if that charge port is right. It looks it looks like it looks like the same cable. Yeah, it is the exact same. Hmm. But we gotta make sure that the whatever you're plugging in is correct. So right, I'll take a look at that. Anyway, so what we gotta do is um let's fix the I'm gonna go fix this right now. The the motor the okay. motor connector. So uh, I've got the controller out, the, the twist throttle still hooked up to it, but so how you can take these guys out are uh, there's a there's a little tab in there, and if you press on it, it should come out. Um, that makes it easy. I don't have to solder anything. You know? So you just kind of stick like something in there, like a what I'm using is a pick right here, and there's a little there's a little tab in here. Stick it in there. Should come out. Nope. Okay, there we go. Okay, got the other white one out. We'll get the blue one out. Just remember the blue one should be vertical, I guess. Okay. So there's the blue one. Put that on the other one, you just basically, oh, oh shit, and, uh, so the, ta the tab stayed down when I pressed down on it, I want it to stay up, or else it'll pop out, so if it gets stuck like that, just bend it back, okay, there we go, I heard it click, now we gotta do the other one, Goes this way, and this one I have to bend to it. It's only bent it it's soft to steel or whatever it is. Okay, Let's stick it in there. Okay, so I just basically I reversed it. So let's try it again. Okay. Got it hooked up again. Got lights, and then uh, so you can see here, the uh, the blue is connected to the blue, and the white is connected to the brown there. Let's see, so you see the blue is connected to the blue here, and the white is connected to the brown. All right, so let's go fire this bad boy up again. Give it a little twist. And it looks like it's going the right direction now. All right. So now we gotta go hook up the rest of the stuff. Alright, here's me up.